Well, good morning, everyone, and happy Friday. It's Friday, huh? You made it to the end of the week. Yay! I'm sorry I wasn't on yesterday. Um, I had been invited on the Chad Smith podcast, and I had gone on there. See, I thought it was I was supposed to go on in the evening. I had no idea it was during the day. And I was going to send you all out, you know, the the link and everything so you all can join. And uh, I didn't have time to get the link and stuff together and throw it up on the group page or anything. So, uh, but I did save the link and it's in there if you all wanted to check it out. And you ought to check out Chad's channel while you're at it. I posted uh, the link in the group page yesterday. But it was a lot of fun. First time I've done a, a live stream in a while. Um, I kind of miss it. I have to uh, see about doing some more. Some of my own. Who knows? It's been a while. Anyway, um, I told you I was going to tell you more about this contest. Okay. Got everything figured out, I think. I think. Okay, if you submit a, a picture logo with whatever font you want for our channel, um, it has to be 1280, 1280 pixels by wide by 720 pixels high. Okay. Um, now, if it's Um, you, you can do short, um, movie things, uh, try to keep it about 10 seconds tops, try to keep it short, please. Um, but you can do a lot within a short period of time. It can have music. That's entirely up to you. Um, it can be a GIF file, and it can be, um, your options are open. I know people work better under different mediums, so if you want to do a picture and submit it, do a picture. Um, now, you'll get a deck of these cards, the winner, the fairy tale, fa uh, the fairy tale, Les Normandes. This is my deck that I use. But uh, just want to show you some of the artwork on it. This one's beautiful. Anyway, the winner will get a free deck of these cards. 
Uh, as I said in a previous broadcast, I can only afford to mail them to somebody in the U.S. If you want them and would like to get them, then, uh, and it's outside of the country, uh, we'd have to work out something with postage. I'm sorry, but uh, postage is just so high. It's unbelievable. But anyway, yes, I think that pretty well covers all the details. Um, please try to make it creepy. Um, funny. Original. Anything uh, like that, especially a combination of them, will be really, really favored. <laughs> if you can get all those in there and one time and succeed, you'll have a good logo there. And your logo will be put at the beginning of my next video for everyone to see your handiwork. After that, I may use it on occasion from time to time. You all probably have noticed I don't really stick with one logo. I change it around a lot. So... There you have it. Good luck. And may the best man or woman win. Now, let's see what card we get for today. Okay. We have the three of wands, or staves, I guess. In this case, it'd be staves. The element is fire. The astrological association is sun and Aries. Numerological number is three. On a tree of life, it's Bina, the sphere of understanding. The key meanings are action and adventure. Now, this card reveals successful enterprise and seeing your projects and relationships thrive. It is also a great indicator for weddings and new and important relationships. It predicts a busy, intense period of activity, so be prepared to be inundated with text, emails, calls, and visitors. This card is also an indicator of an imminent trip away and seeing your plans realized, whether those are travel plans, business plans, a wedding, or other, project, or other projects you have nurtured. This is also a time for great communication and self-expression through chosen interests such as art, music, crafts, and sports. The Three of Staves also favors individuality and non-confirmationism. And so yourself on your quirks and eccentricities will let others see all you have to offer rather than the aspects of you with which you assume they are even more comfortable. From this, you will gain even more confidence and even admiration. You are unique after all. The three's challenge is to keep the balance between staying focused on the prize while remaining patient, calm, and in the now. Appreciate, too, those people who are around you now. Try to make time for friends who don't immediately fit into your future plans. It also can be referred to uh, batons, by the way. Um, and other meanings are strengths, business skills, and practical street smarts. So it looks like even dreaming of something in your future. Making plans. Thinking on it first, not making any decisions yet. 
But now you have the idea in your head of what you want to do. And you're making plans and you're getting ready to do it. So let me see. I'm pulling out a rune. Okay. That rune is Manaz. Now this could represent the color blue or purple. I don't see whether that might uh, have anything to do with this reading. Uh, but uh, this rune has many powers. It is a rune that lets us know we can achieve our fullest potential. And that's basically what the card's about too. Secondly, it reminds us that we as humans have shared experiences in life. Lastly, we can use the power of this rune to gain the upper hand in disputes and arguments. Now, this rune signals, uh, depending on community support, having supportive assistance around you. It's a rune of interdependence. This rune can indicate aid or advice that is honest and unbiased. It can indicate you are too close to the problem and need to step back for a broader view. Manaz can also indicate problems with women, regardless of your gender. So while you have this ability uh, to achieve all this greatness and this goodness and success, this rune's reminding us none of us get there on our own. Somewhere along the way, we all depend on the milk of human kindness and assistance. So don't, don't forget the people that help you, that are around you, that are working with you, helping to you to obtain your goal. All right. So there we have it. Um, that's about all I have to say today. Oh, the contest. Yes. Um, I'll need those by noon on Saturday. Um, I guess tomorrow. If you could throw me something together today, I'd appreciate it. And you could win a deck of cards. Share out to your friends. Tell your friends about it. Um, any thoughts you may have been thinking on, now's the time to get them down. Yeah, I was wanting to get this information out earlier and yesterday, and yesterday was just so busy. <laughs> Seemed like the full day I got up and went grocery shopping, and I was on the podcast, and it was just like one thing after another. And I was so tired by the time I was done, I took a nap. And I don't ever take naps. I just, I sat down on the couch to review a video I'm working on making, putting together. And uh, that I'm going to try to uh, premiere on Saturday, by the way. Um, and it's a follow-up to our last video with the tunnel. You're going to find out a bit of uh, shocking information. I'll tell you that much. It's very shocking and disturbing information. So it's it, it definitely goes very much along with the first video. It just would have been a... a ridiculously long video if I had uh, put them both together so and it is regarding a different location and a different slightly different subject but they do tie together and it is disturbing anyway yeah if you could please have those in uh, into me tomorrow uh, you can uh, if you're on my Facebook you can send them to me by messenger on Facebook. Um, if uh, 
let's see. My contact information is in the description of our page here. So look in the description, and uh, there's there's emails, there's other ways of uh, sending me stuff and contacting me. So uh, yeah, just try to get those in by let's say noon tomorrow, Eastern time. My time. And uh, I think that's all about all I have to talk about. All about all, about all. So anyway, you all have a blessed Friday. Take care. Peace. Believe. Because the spirits are out there. And until tomorrow, bye-bye.